I've got my setup here for procedure A, and for procedure A, we're going to be determining, we're going to be taking data right now for determining the energy for heating water and the specific heat capacity of water. It says record the mass of the clean, dry electric kettle, and I've got my scale over here, so I'm just going to take it, put on the scale, I get 856.5, so right 856.5 over here on mass of clean dry kettle uh, then I'm going to uh, fill add water to the kettle until it gets to the fill line, and I don't know if you can see the fill line there, it's in there. Nope. Filled to the fill line, pretty close anyway, and the fill line in this one is pretty low. I got one drop there, so I'm gonna take that off. One drop on the outside. And now I'll take this over to my kettle again. Sorry, my scale. And this time I get 2,443.3 grams. Put it back on my heating place. It says plug the kilowatt into an outlet. I've already done that. Plug the electric kettle into a socket of the kilowatt and this is not the kilowatt. This is an off-brand version that I got for significantly less money. Just turned off my scale there. Don't turn on the kettle yet. Carefully place the end of the thermocouple, which I've got right here. A sensor, and the sensor is going to be this very tip part right here. And about an inch above the bottom of the kettle. See it down there, so just a little higher than that. You don't want it on the bottom because if it's on the bottom, it will record the heat of the heating element. And have the timer ready. You will go until oh, record temperature of water. So let me turn this on. Let me move this out of the way here. And it says 24 degrees, but I want it to the tenth place, so I'm going to go for that. It says 23.8 degrees. So at time zero seconds, please record this in your table. It, the temperature is 23.8, uh, and the energy is 0, 0.00, and the total energy, and total energy is what we're going to be keeping track of, uh, is going to be 0, 0.00 as well. And what we're going to do is... Uh, have a timer ready, um, and you will go until 90 degrees or higher. Start the timer when you turn on the kettle. Every time that the kilowatt increases by 0 0.01 kilowatt hour on the kilowatt, write down the time and the temperature, and uh, I will have you keep track of time. Oh, it's plugged in, uh, but this one I still haven't turned on yet. That's important. So when finished, unplug. So you can start your timer now. And I know nothing's happened yet that we can see. But let me just confirm. Yep, the light is on on my electric kettle. And now we wait and see how long it takes. And I'll be collecting data too. You might want to uh, speed through this one as long as you catch all the data points. Oh, there we go. You're good to go.
It's going pretty quickly. And you're writing these kilowatt hours in the total energy kilowatt hours column. Sounds like it's getting hot. So far, so good. Twenty more degrees to go.
but still there is still readable almost there we'll turn it off we have our data right now Now it does go a little bit higher in temperature. Let's take that as our final temperature. 